Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do our walk at home. So this is our 4,000 steps or two miles, low impact cardio workout for fat loss. So we're going to just get going here now with a warm up. So if you want to join me, just make sure you have everything ready before you start. So as usual, I always have a chair handy in case you need assistance with your balance and some water if you need it and a towel. Okay, let's go forward and back and we'll start getting the arms moving by our side. So tuck those elbows into your waist. Great, good. And we'll get that heart rate up, just elevating the heart rate. Get the blood flowing to those muscles and get ourselves nice and warm, particularly these cold winter days. You'll be glad to move now when it's this cold. Okay, now what I'm going to just say to you is, I know that the workout is titled a workout for fat loss, but it's important that you realize that you have to combine these workouts with good healthy eating. So I know we're only at the beginning, the first week of January is just over, and you may be finding it a little bit hard to get back into healthy eating or to get going even with a good uh, nutritional plan. But just take, take things in little steps, little baby steps. Start off maybe by introducing more water uh, into your nutrition, your good nutritional plan. I like to use that term rather than diet. And then maybe start off introducing maybe a new vegetable and cutting back maybe on processed sugars and processed carbohydrates like breads and pastas and things like that. And then combine this with your training every day. And in time, you will see results. Okay, let's march on the spot. So it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You've got to have all the pieces in place and build on that jigsaw puzzle. I right, would step it out to the side. Good, and get a bend your knees slightly if you can. If you have trouble with your knees, just stay tall, stay tall with the moves. But a slight little bend in the knee does take pressure off your joints. Okay, and just, when I say swinging the arms, I'm swinging with purpose. I'm actually contracting my shoulders there. That's it, good. Well done, keep going now. Point and point point and point. Now you keep going with that. I'm actually going to start the timer from now and this warm-up will include those 4,000 steps. All right, good. Reach and reach, reach. Now can you go a little higher? Reach up, watch out for any lights above your head. Good, now start breathing. Get your breathing down. It's important to keep breathing throughout your workouts. Good, now abdominals in tight as well right from the start. So you should feel a little bit of tension or a bit of tightness when you draw your belly button into your spine. Do your best to hold that position, but don't hold your breath. Good, now let's drop the arms. Keep those legs going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We're going to go into some calf raises. Two more and one. Just from the side, lift and lower your feet. Lift and lower down. That's great. Now, you should work your calf muscles every day, even when you're standing at the sink doing your dishes. Do a few of these calf raises. Um, stair climbing is great, and obviously walking is great because it really works your calves. But just as you get older and you get uh, start getting problems with your circulation and that, or if you have bad veins in your legs, these exercises are very good for trying to keep the circulation working well for you, and particularly in the cold weather. That's it, good. You shouldn't have cold feet. It isn't good for your circulation. So if you find your feet are always cold, get up and do a few of these calf raises. Now you can actually um, double it up, okay, just to mix it up for you. That's it, you can bring in the arms, try and keep the heart rate up a little bit. Good, that's it, and some calf stretching as well. We'll do some at the end, that's great for um, your circulation as well in your calves and to keep your calf muscle uh, in a good lengthened position. Okay, not always contract it up. That's good. Now we're going to do a squat and side leg abduction. That's just a fancy way of saying you're going to lift your leg out to the side. So just 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just a little squat, just squat as low as you can without dipping your waist forward and side leg abduction or side leg lifts. 
Abduction just means that you're bringing the leg away from the center of your body. Adduction is you're bringing the leg across your body. So that's it, sitting down and reach, sit down and reach. And don't bend at the waist like this when you're squatting. Keep your chest upright and uh, try and just imagine that your knees are tracing or tracking out over your shoelaces. That's it, slight bend, slight turn of the toe outwards. Some people are very wide squatters. It's just uh, the hip, the shape of the hips, and some people can squat very narrow. So you just have to go with your anatomy. I'm a wide squatter. <laughs> Sit down and up. Now, if you can only go here with your squat, that's fine, you stick with that. Let's do four. And we're gonna do some floor taps and reach with the arms. Two more, good, and last one. Now some floor taps, just tapping out the floor. That's it, nice and gentle, nice and soft on your feet. That's good. And then you can just bring in the arms. And the arms have purpose here too, I know I always say it, but you do see people doing aerobic type classes and they're just swinging the arms all over the place. Let's get those muscles to work for you, that's it. You're putting in the effort, so get your muscles to do some work for you. That's it, good. You're in charge here. Well done. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now let's start into the workout. And we are gonna march, and if you want to, you can grab a pair of dumbbells. Okay, it's up to you if you want to do that. And march it out. Good. Now I'm gonna bring in a high bicep curl. Okay, so. Just bringing the arms up a little bit higher if you've chose to use a pair of dumbbells. Um, this will be quite challenging for you, so don't go too heavy. Or you can just bring them down here. Okay, there's some choices there for you. Now squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. That's it. Now get those legs moving at a fast pace if you can. So we get these 4,000 steps done in our time. That's it. Good. And again, I'm just estimating 4,000 steps being two miles. You might be quicker and you may not get 4,000 steps into two miles. Just depends again on your fitness level. That's it, now squeezing and release. 10, good, nine, eight. We're gonna do some toe taps and single arm sho shoulder press. Good, six, five, four. Good, squeeze those arms, three, two and one now toe tap tap that out you can tap a height if you want a coffee table or something sturdy if you want i'm going to lift the shoulders up arms up i should say and in just uh, elevating your feet will just um make it a little bit more intense you're going to have a deeper knee bend that's it good and tap and tap that's it reaching right up for me tap and tap good if you a nice stretch in your core your trunk area so you're getting your mobility and um, while you get your heart rate up okay so you're getting mobility as well as your cardiovascular fitness good now you can go a little faster if you like slow it down if you have to ten nine got a single hamstring curl and then we'll do the other leg okay six five four three, two, and one. So pick a leg, bring, keep those arms going, that's it. And tuck your elbows in and pull your hands down to your hips, that's it. Curl and curl. We tend to do a lot of exercises that work our quads at the front, our thigh muscles. So it's good to get something for the back too. Don't forget those hamstrings. That's it, and you're gonna feel this standing leg as it squats up and down a little bit. Good, little bend in the knee there, standing leg. Working your ankle there at the standing leg too. 10, nine, get ready to switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, heart rate's coming up now, switch legs. That's it, get your balance. Drop the arms, hold onto a chair or the wall if you need to. Good, slow down your pace. Just tailor this workout to suit your level, okay? Good, 
pull back, pull back, that's it, give me 10 more, 9, 8, we're going to walk forward and back now, we're going to punch the ceiling, okay, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, okay, let's walk it forward, and back now, let's punch, come on, keep the heart rate up for me, big deep breaths, Feeling those lungs starting to work. That's it. Just watch where you're going now if you have a mirror. Just keep an eye on yourself when you're going backwards. Make sure you've no obstacles in the way. Good. Punch and punch. That's it. Once you bring those hands above your head, you're going to elevate your heart rate. There's no doubt about it. Even with low impact exercise. Good. Using all four limbs to help burn our calories that's it good keep your back straight and your abs pulled in that's good keep going we've got four to go what have we got next front kicks and chest press i love the next move good two more long arms by those ears for me come on don't get sloppy that's it okay now front kick controlling it by contracting your quad so you just tighten up here, tense up your quad muscle. Okay, and let's get going. Good, with those chest press. That's it, good. Push out and push and push. Keep yourself moving and keep your spine straight. And push and push. Now let's double up. Keep the legs doing the same thing but we're just doubling up the arms. And again, my arms are working hard for me. I'm pushing something heavy away. That's it. Head is held high. Tummy muscles are in. Yeah, good. Keep checking that every now and then. Good. Now, let's do 10 more and we'll just go on a basic walk. All right, that's it. Kick, kick. Now my knee is safe as I kick. I'm not just kicking out with no control over my knee. I'm tensing up my quadricep, my thigh muscle, and I'm protecting my knee joint. Three, two, let's walk it out. That's it, good. Pump those arms. Well done, you're doing a great job now. You're getting warmer, yeah, a little bit. My phone said it was minus eight this morning. I don't think I've ever seen that on my phone before. So we're really in a cold snap here at the moment and there's nothing more I like doing than exercise in the cold. <laughs> okay, now abs tight, pump those arms, good. Now we're going to do a front kick with the right leg and a left, sorry, a kick back with the left leg. So let's get ready for that. Then we'll switch around. Four, three, two, and one. So front kick and back front kick and back now if you need assistance here just go to a door okay or a wall or a chair all right you don't have to kick high just do what you can that's it kick and kick nice power in your kicks but power with control okay not just kicking without controlling your knee joint okay keep yourself safe good and keep your arms up in front in a guard position that's it good and kick and back kick and back kick it forward kick it back good give me a few more come on and we'll switch legs take note of what leg you're kicking to the front with and kicking back because you have to switch that's it we've got another three and two and last one Okay, get your balance, keep the abs in. Kick, opposite leg, and kick back with the opposite leg. That's it. Bring in some arms now if you want to, or you can keep them up in guarded position if you want. Good, now don't lean too far forward at the waist. Remember your spine has to be straight. When you're coming up and kicking to the front, I want you to make sure, I want you to make sure you're not leaning back, so you're not hyperextending your spine there okay because you'll, you'll be sore tomorrow you'll be feeling in your back good kick back that's it and you can kind of add a little hop here if you want to get a bit funky with it that's it 
I know you can keep it low impact if you want. That's good. Now I've got a step touch. It's just really a step out to the side. Tiny little squat for me and a shoulder press. That's coming next. And then we do the other leg then. Two more. Kick and back. Last one. And back. So step out to the side, squat and shoulder press. That's it. Stay on one leg. Good. Step, squat, shoulder press. Step, squat it out, shoulder press. Step out to the side, sit into your chair, shoulder press. Good. You don't have to do any deep squatting. Here's fine. If your knees are troubling you, that's it. Good. You can leave out the squat all together. If you want to just step out and shoulder press, step out and shoulder press, okay. And sit down and reach. Step out, sit and reach. That's it. You might find as you get warmer, you can sit a bit deeper into your squat. Just make sure your chest stays up. You press the weight into your heels and you're making sure you're tracing or tracking your knees out over your shoes. That's it, good. Two more, we switch legs. Great, working those glutes, those hamstrings, those quads. Okay, other leg. Step out and up. Just the same thing, just letting the opposite leg lead. And also, when I say you're working the glutes here, not only are you working the actual glute you sit on, your gluteus maximus, as you step your leg out to the side, you're working your inner and outer thighs. You notice the abduction going on here again? Yeah, and adduction as the leg comes back in. So we're hitting all areas of the hip there, or the glute. Good. It's great for your hip mobility and keeps you healthy as your body gets on in years. That's it, good. God, I'm quite out of breath with this one. <laughs> All right, let's move it on. I'm gonna go back to some basic walking. Two more here. And last one. Head is held high, that's it, good. Heart rate's coming up because I'm working such major muscle groups. Plus, I'm bringing my hands up above my head there. Let's walk it out. Let me crisscross in front. Or you can leave it at a basic walk with the hands by your side if you prefer. That's it. I always like to try and get in as much um, chest openers as I can. Because we spend so much of our time slumped forward in front of phones and computers and laptops and all sorts of things these days. Open up your chest as much as you can. That's it. Even if your arms are feeling fatigued. That's it. Do your best. Push back. Good, 10 more. We've got some knee drives. They are challenging because they, they have a lot of speed involved, but you slow down if you have to. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm starting on my right. Knee drive, that's it. Good. And again, I'm bringing in arms, but if you can rest your hands on your hips if your arms are jaded. Good. Nearly 16 minutes gone, okay. You forget about the time, really you do. Once you start enjoying exercise, you actually forget about all those minutes ticking by. Good, and drive, drive, and drive. You feeling that standing leg again? I am, yeah? Good, 10. Let's switch over now when we get do our countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, that standing leg is like jelly. Good. Good. Keep going. Come on. And drive. And drive. Come on. Have fun with your workouts. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. Good. Push back with those arms. Tuck those elbows in. Five more. Four. We've got to walk again. Three, two, and one. Okay. I know I really liked that move here. The chest opener. So I'm going to add that in again. It does encourage you to keep your spine upright too. Feel that nice pull there on your pectorals. It's your chest muscle, very large muscle group in the upper half. Push back, that's it, good. Get ready for squat and side leg, abduction. Again, we're going to work those outer, outer glute muscles. People call them outer hip muscles, but they really are part of the glutes. 
Okay, three, two, and one. Now sit into your squat, abduction. Good, opposite leg. We're gonna go back now to our walk and a high bicep curl. That's it, if you feel really fatigued, if you've been using weights, you can drop them there for the, the next portion of the workout. If you want to, or keep going with them. And sit down and lift. Sit down and lift. I just bend slightly to the side here, just to help with the counterbalance, the weight of the body. Drop and lift. Sit down and lift. Good. Let's do another four. Now, if you need a break, pause the video, have a sip of water, pace the room, keep your heart rate elevated, and come back to me when you're ready. Okay, walk. Bicep curl, 18 and a half minutes. Good, and curl it. That's it. Well done, you're doing a great job. Hope you're feeling good. Body's feeling alive now. Good, get ready for toe tap. Single arm shoulder press. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Toe tap, toe tap. Single arm press. Good. Now punch the ceiling for me here, okay? That's it. Reach right up, stretch out your core muscles, your obliques there, your trunk. Good. Well done. Let's do two arms now. That's it. Good. Reach up and pull down. Now just start feeling the muscles around the shoulder blades working once you bring in the second arm. Yeah, I really feel it now. That's it. Single hamstring curl coming. Start on the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep those arms going. Sorry, that's the right leg. Good. I'm looking at the camera monitor so everything's backwards. That's it. If you started on the right, keep on the right. It doesn't matter. Good. Pull back. That's it. Pull back. Pull. 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 That's it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Get ready to change now. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Switch around. Good. You feel those hamstrings working. I'm really feeling it the second time round. That's it. Good. Now, if you find your balance is failing you a little bit, just support yourself by using a chair. Put your hand on the chair. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We're going to walk it. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. Forward and back. Now, punch the ceiling. Good. And punch. And again, just like my toe taps with shoulder press, my arms here are working for me. I'm working those shoulders, burning my calories. Good. Now I'm not just burning calories while I work out. I'm burning calories by controlling the foods I eat and moving throughout the day. That's it, good. Punch that ceiling, get ready for front kick and chest press. Drop the arms here now. Good. Ooh, heart rate's up. Can you feel that? Yeah. Two more. And last one. Now, front kick. So, front kick left, back with the right. That's it. Front kick. And because it's round two, we can go a little faster. If you want to, that is. It's just an option. Good. Kick and back. Kick and back, good. Kick and back, that's it. Kick and back, back. Try and find your balance here. It does knock you off a little bit with the power of the legs, the weight of the legs on the upper half of the body. That's it, good. Last four, three. Get ready to change, two. One, if you need a moment, engage that core again. Take it. It's not a race. Good. The fitter you get, the quicker that heart rate drops. So, 
you have to kind of keep moving at a fair, a fair pace. That's a good sign that you're fit when your heart rate drops very quickly. Your heart is coping really well. Good, and your resting heart rate will drop as well. So when you're sitting down reading a book or whatever you're doing, you'll, if you have a heart rate monitor, you'll notice your heart rate's quite low. Good, that's good, because your heart will, has to beat less in your lifetime. It lasts longer, good. Four, what's next? Three, step touch, squat it and shoulder press. One more here, Ooh, feeling those legs. Right, other leg. Step, touch, squat, shoulder press. Stay on one side, keep it simple. That's it, prefer to keep the moves simple because otherwise you're trying to figure it all out and your heart rate's plummeting. So you're not really getting your training effect. So keep your moves and your workouts simple. That's it, good. No complicated footwork needed to get a good workout. I'm, no, I'm not a dancer, so I'm not even gonna try. Good, sit down and reach. That's it, sit and reach. Good, sit down and reach. What have we at now? We're coming up on 24 minutes. Give me two more here. And don't forget to switch sides. Good, other side. Tap it out and reach. Tap, open, sit and reach. Tap, open the legs, sit down in your chair, reach up. That's it. Sit down, reach up. Reach up, good. And reach. Now again, if I look like I'm squatting too deeply, you just take it at your own squatting pace, if that's the right terminology. <laughs> Sit down and reach. You can even slow this down if you feel your heart rate's getting too high for you. Good. And reach. And reach up, good. Reach it up. Let's go two more. And reach up. Now let's walk it out. That's it now. Pump those arms by your side. Come on, let's get those steps in. Now if you want to go a little faster, you can still keep the impact down. Speed doesn't mean you have to do, do high impact. You'll just kind of double up on those steps, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, pump those arms by your side. That's it, good. Get ready now, we're gonna do some front kicks and chest press. That's it, 10 more. March it out if you'd like. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, front kick, front kick. That's it, chest press. Come bend your knee deeper if you want. As soon as we've done it already. Good, good. Kick and kick, kick and kick. Remember now to control the kick. We're tensing up the quadricep muscle or the thigh muscle, particularly near the knee joint. Tense, tense, brace yourself. So brace and brace. You know, the same way you would brace yourself if someone came to punch you in the stomach, yet you would contract and brace. So the same thing with your knee there. Okay, good. Now, double up. You can come off the spot, you can move around. If you have the space, don't be afraid to use it. Good. Good, and 10, nine, eight, seven. What have we got next? Six, back to walk. I think it's a nice little transition move. It gives the shoulders a a breather and the brain a breather too. Good. Walk it out. Come on, let's pump those arms. Do you want to take it back up into that little skipping type move? I'm just rotating the waist here, getting some obliques involved. You can actually do this low impact as well. Well, there wasn't much impact in, in the one I just did, but if you really, really want to just step it. Look, did you feel that tummy work? You can actually really feel it with the low impact move. Good, and again, I'm putting my belly button in keeping my spine straight because I am twisting. So anytime you twist the body, you wanna make sure that you're not, uh, that you are engaging, okay? That you're not just letting everything hang out, <laughs> so to speak. Good. And I'm gonna bring it up. Small bit of impact. My two feet are still pretty much on the floor here. That's 
that's it good got our knee drives coming next okay ten more nine eight seven six five four three two and one okay let's do our knee drives keeping that heart rate elevated burning calories that's it good getting some heat around that body so you know you're boosting your metabolism and you can feel that heat from your head to your toes oh it's lovely you can feel the toes tingling good pull down that's it two minutes to go what a great workout didn't think of the time really at all here let's do five four three we give that standing leg a breather two and one Whew. now if your standing leg is really tired it throws your balance a little bit so just put your hand on a chair if that's you good pull back pull back that's it good come on pull your belly button in and keep your chest up for me keep going come on give me 10 seconds got two moves left after this and we are finished with our 4,000 steps good four three two and one okay walk it I want to just bring it into a little jog you can you want to really keep the heart rate up 60 seconds to go march it out if your heart rate's too high and you want to bring it down I am going to cool you down now so don't worry I'll bring your heart rate down for you good that's it we'll bring it up for a few seconds that's it come on keep going keep moving good now squat side leg abduction so squat left leg just to lead on the opposite side that's it squat and down 20 seconds left can you hang in if your chest is falling forward with fatigue leave out the squat and just lift your leg out to the side hold on to something that's it we're just there now lift squat and lift squat and lift let's do another four good and three two and one well done okay keep the body moving that last move now would have brought your heart rate down somewhat well done 30 minutes most definitely got 4,000 steps there I'm sure of it all right that's it pump those arms by your side just gradually bringing that heart rate down big deep breaths all of this breathing as well will help relax the body good that's great okay now let's do some calf stretches because that was a lot of um work there for the sorry calf there's a lot of work there for the legs okay so belly button in tight i'm going to stretch out my trunk while i stretch out my calf if you find this is too distracting for you i know doubling up in your stretches saves time but i think sometimes people focus on one area and not the other so they don't really get the benefit of it so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm pushing my leg into the ground under control now pressing the heel into the ground reach up that's it reach your hands up again just rest your hands on your hips if you cannot double up on your stretching oh, I'm always in a hurry so <laughs> any chance I can get to be a little bit quicker I'll take it good holding for about 30 seconds is ideal oh sorry is a start i should say but um up to a minute and even more is is really where you're going to see progression with stretching now i can see my toes flaring or point, rotating out the difference when you line up your feet to a 12 o'clock position just imagine a clock face of 12 is incredible so this is where a mirror comes in handy or somebody to tell you your toes are pointing out left and right okay reach up that's it reach right up good abs tight feel a lovely stretch in your shoulders they worked hard for you even though it was a walking workout primarily a walking workout they worked hard for you 
Good. We're stretching your trunk here as well, right down to your pubic bone. And gently lift your foot up. That's it. Good. Now, hamstring. Okay. So we did a lot of um, hamstring curls. So let's just uh, work on stretching those out. So what I'm doing is now I'm lifting my the front of my foot up, my toes up. I'm pushing my heel into the floor. I'm keeping my chest upright. I'm just gently squeezing my shoulder blades together, just a slight retraction, just to keep my posture upright. Good. Belly buttons in. That's it. Push the heel in a little bit more, just to increase the stretch. Come up out of it. And again, I'm rushing through this a little bit, so sit your hips down. That's it. So you've got to imagine like there's a little stool. You're sitting on a little stool. This is a uh, straight leg, straight legs for stretching. Push the heel into the floor again. Toes up, retracting those shoulder blades. There is a deep bend in this knee here. So if you have knee problems, you can stretch, your, you can stretch out your hamstrings by going up on a little bit of a height. It takes that deep bend out of the knee. Come on up out of it if that is troubling you there. And we'll just do a quick stretch up to the ceiling. Open up your legs nice and wide, if you can. If that's too much for your balance or you, you feel like you're going to fall over, close your legs a little bit. Open, touch the floor, go to one side. Now, if you want to, you can do like a Cossack type squat. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that term, Cossack. It's kind of a deep squat. If you can't do it, just come on up here. You even come up higher with your, your stretching. Rest your hands on your knees. This is great mobility again for the hips and the inner thighs. Good. To, uh, I have the toe up, toes facing the ceiling. Back to the middle. If you can't touch the floor here, raise your hands up on the height, whatever you can think of. Stacked towels, coffee tables, chair even. And let's just jump it in. Now I did go through those stretches quite quickly, but if you want to spend a little bit longer cooling down, I leave a link in the description box below this video and I have a full length cool down there. You can pick some stretches, spend about 15 minutes or so stretching yourselves out. Thank you very much for joining me today. I will see you back here really soon. Bye bye.